why all this time I thought I was recording and I wasn't? Y'all, it is 6.42 right now. I have a, I mean 5.42 right now. I have a 6 p.m. eyelash appointment. It is still light outside, so I want to make this video while, while it was still light out. And right now I'm parked at a handicapped parking space because I need the light. I need the light. If somebody comes, there's another one right here. So if somebody comes right here, then I'll move. But I'm going to move into the parking garage, which will be too dark for us to make this video. So that's what we're doing right now. Y'all, in this video, we want to talk about our September budget. Simply because y'all know, at the beginning of the month, we make a budget. But babies, you have to go back at the end of the month and revisit. Look at your numbers. Were you close to what you predicted or projected that you were going to make? If not, then you kind of have an idea what you might have to do going forward. And that means adjust your numbers. Because I do think that sometimes we aren't quite honest with ourselves. Like sometimes we might say, oh, I'm going to give myself $300 for going out money. And then you spend $500. Maybe one month is okay. But do you do that consistently month after month after month? That's when we need to tweak so we know what our habits are. And then we can stop making adjustments to either change those habits or to at least live up to what we're really doing and not what we want to I not what we want to do ideally okay the other thing we want to do when we revisit our budget is we want to make sure like did we go over things and if we did why get real honest with yourself sit there and say why did I go over you know what I'm saying the budget is a tool it's a tool to for you to be in control of your money and not for your money to be in control of you so let's look at my September budget guys most of you already know on this side of the paper is what we projected and then on this side of the paper is what actually happened if it's highlighted in pink it means I did better than I expected and if it's highlighted in blue it means I went over budget or I didn't budget for it at all let's talk about it so September I said that I would bring in twenty thousand and fifty seven dollars I actually did a little better I bought in twenty thousand two hundred and forty one dollars and this is my take home pay after their taxes and other payroll deductions. September was a three month paycheck. That's why my income here is a little higher than it normally is. I do not make $20,000 a month, but boy, would it be nice if I did make that on a consistent, regular basis. Okay. So out of that money, out of that $20,000, this is what I did with it. $105 went to my HOA. And I do know a way that I can actually save on that. Right now, my HOA comes out automatically, and they charge like a five, about a five dollar fee. It could be five to seven dollar fee um, every month that it comes out automatically. If I just go ahead and let that come out of my debit account versus a, uh, wait a minute, hmm, I gotta look at it. I can't remember if it's because I'm doing it with a credit card or if it's because um, it's automatic. I gotta look at what the truth of it is and make adjustments to save that money I don't care if it's five dollars if I look at my points that I make my with my credit card I'm not making enough points to justify the processing fee that that credit card takes I think that's what it is I have to come back to you on that because y'all already know how I do y'all probably gonna hear me say this for the next two three five budgets <laughs> gas bill came in at forty three dollars Electricity, I said 190 and it came in at 209. And that's basically the reason why that's different is because the 190 was based off of what it had been the month before. The water bill, I said 160, it came in at 167. Cell phone, $222, and that is for three phones on my plan. Internet for the fastest speed internet my area provides is $85. Security systems, $54. My lawn service, $135. Housekeeping, I said $175 and it actually came to $206. Now, guys, my housekeeper comes once a month and actually, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what is her name? Vita La Budget Vita. I know Vita's in the name. I know Vita's in the name. I'm going to pop it up right here yo I love the fact that she has a housekeeper come three times a month 
I would love to do such a thing because I do love having a clean, organized home. She says she's going to actually move it weekly. That is goals for me. But for, in order for me to do that, I wouldn't want to do it with the service that I have now because they're just kind of... Uh, I would want somebody who was more of a independent cleaner you know, who worked for herself, who really took pride in getting to know her customers, getting to know her customers' homes, things like that. Um, the service that I have now is fine for your, it's like the McDonald's of housekeeping. You know what I mean? So they kind of come, it's probably different people every time and they really don't really have attention to detail like that. But in the meantime, I paid 206 And the reason why is because I got a new refrigerator. So my old refrigerator, I needed to have it cleaned and I was going to do it, but I'd be doing all the other things. So I just went ahead and had them clean out that refrigerator. And it was only like about an extra $30. So that was definitely worth it for me. Insurance, $327. And that is for my car insurance, for my house insurance, and for somebody else's insurance that I pay. Easy Pass, I said $45. And it actually came in at zero, which is a good thing because all it means is I haven't been taking the toll road as much. P.O. Box, I said $170. It came in at 202. Y'all, these services be going up year after year after year. When I first got my P.O. box, I feel like it started out at 130 a year. Now it is at $202 for the year. That is crazy for me. Yeah, I might be getting rid of my P.O. box. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, subscription services, $43. And thanks to you all, it actually came in at $33. And that is because we finally got rid of VidIQ, which I was paying $10 a month for. Refrigerator. As I said, I bought a new refrigerator and I still had $600 that I owed on it. And so that was paid now. And I did not, um, the refrigerator wasn't delivered until like September 15th. So actually, by the time they charged me for it, it was paid completely because they didn't charge me before. Um, I think it came, probably came in about September 10th. It hit my credit card. So by the time it came in on my credit card, all the money was there to pay it off completely. Groceries. I spent $42 on groceries. I spent $238 eating out. And I spent $45 on household miscellaneous. Then I spent $117 on fun miscellaneous, which was actually pretty awesome because I went to go see the woman king. Oh my goodness. With my mother, my grandmother, my sister. So it was four of us and I treated everybody. We went to a matinee y'all. So it was like about maybe $6 a pop per person. And then I also spent um, some money buying some food for us to eat while we were there. We went to cinema cafe. Oh my goodness, I love it because of the simple fact that you get to go to your seat, you get to sit down, and you get to wait for the waitress to come to you and place your order so you don't have to stand in the concession line. I really loved it that way. Um, and the Woman King, I want to see it again, y'all. It was so good. I know there's a lot of back and forth about it not being completely accurate to history, but so what? So what? You know how many movies out there? How many movies are out there that are not completely accurate to history? But for some reason, when it comes to a black movie, we like to be super, 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 super critical about black movies. And then we look at each other and be like, why aren't there more black movies? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. This was a good movie. This was a good movie. Um, I also spent $21 for a juice bar. What happened is my friend had a dinner party. And he assigned everybody different things to bring. And I was assigned juice because they be knowing, they be knowing. And so instead of making a juice, I was going to make like some sort of a punch or whatever. But instead of doing that, I just decided to go to the store, buy a bunch of assortment of juices and call it a juice bar. So I spent $21 for that. So those were some of the things that I did with the fun miscellaneous money. Um, and those four categories... I don't necessarily give myself a budget. I just try to be mindful. When I write down my numbers and I keep track of my numbers, I can see if I'm actually going out of control, if I'm going ham with my spending, or if I'm kind of on track and kind of doing the average of what I normally do. For food, between eating out and groceries, I normally spend about $300 a month. And so when you look at this, $42 and $238, it means I was normal it's about the norm of what I normally do and I also found for me um 
even if I cooked at home more, it doesn't equal I save more money. It really doesn't. So therefore, I don't, I'm not too hard on myself anymore about eating out as much as I eat out. Hair. I said $200 and I actually spent zero because I did not get my hair done in the month of September. Nails. I said $80 and I only spent $43 because I only got a manicure for the month of September. Lashes, I said $115 and it only came to $80 because I did not get my lashes done in the month of September. But the reason why $80 was spent is because I do have a subscription service for my lash um, studio. So that comes out monthly anyway. We went and seen Hamilton, y'all. It is $552. We went and seen Hamilton. It was so freaking good it was so amazing i spent eight hundred dollars for that um jay absolutely loved it before that we did see wicked on broadway and jay was like oh wicked was amazing and i was like ah, ah, ah. and you know and now that he's seen hamilton he understands he understands 401k 2370 hsa 300 dollars the mortgage, I said, and this is between my normal mortgage, which is $15.36, plus the extra that I add because I want to pay off my house sooner than later. So I said $10,536, and I actually did a little bit better. I sent $11,186. Savings, $1,951 is what I said, but what I actually did is $1,320, and I'm not sure why. That $1,951, I'm not sure what was in that number, honestly. I don't know what I, I don't know if I put gifts in that number. I don't even know, but it is what it is. $1,320 is what I did. Clothing, I did $115 there, and some of that was, um, I actually bought my son a t-shirt, so, yeah, gifts, $1,197 went to gifts. And y'all, that is what I did with my money for the month of September. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Let's go. Let's go legally park somewhere. Oh, look, that parking space is open now. That's what I need to do. Oh, I need to go run. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pop right here. I need to go run and get into this thing because y'all, I really do need a full set. And my butt got the nerve to make an appointment for a, um for Phil. <laughs> I'm not, I don't not like backing in. I really don't. Even with all the cameras. All right, are we good? Are we good? I feel like I'm over here too much. <sighs> all right, y'all. Let's get in here because I got to go in here and still wash my lashes and whatnot all right all right y'all until next video peace <laughs>